We now meet writer and executive producer of Remember Me, the Mahalia Jackson story, Erica Nicole Malone. Erica, welcome to Wake Up with Marcy. Thank you, Thank you so much for having oh me. Oh my gosh, so excited. such a pleasure. So you have so many great projects under your belt. What compelled you to do a film about the Mahalia Jackson story? Well, I'm from the South. I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. I live in the West Coast now. But in the South, Mahalia Jackson was such a revered figure. And I mean, she's just loved, beloved. You know, I tell people a lot of times that on Sunday morning, like after church, or that you'd have a picture of Dr. King on one side, Jesus in the middle, Mahalia Jackson on the other side. So she was such a beloved figure. And so I knew that she was special. But I knew she was beloved in terms of music, but I didn't really understand her contribution to civil rights the way I did and to understand that she was so influential in Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s life. Um, she was in a sense his big sister. There was quite a big age difference between them, but she understood he had a big purpose and she really wanted to be a part of it. So I tell people a lot, she was one of those people that was a hidden figure and um, even at the I Have a Dream speech, when she says to Dr. King, tell him about the dream, Martin, tell him about the dream, that was her basically kind of helping him to speak extemporaneously from his heart. And um, you know, so I imagine and kind of reimagine the conversations that they might have had about his dream of all races and unity you know, coming together and recreated this in this film. I just, I just envision that like that moment happening yes. when you were explaining that. That, yeah. that is so beautiful. So listen, mm -hmm. you have so many talented actors in this film. Like what was your experience working with such a great cast? It was just such an amazing cast directed by uh, Denise Dows who passed away a few months ago. And you know, to have a cast like Lettucey uh, as Mahalia Jackson, who I was already a fan of Grammy winner Lettucey, but she was such a professional uh, playing this role. She was fantastic and she really embodied a lot of the attributes that I imagined when I wrote this film. Um, also Keith David, Columbus Short, Janet Huber, uh, so many, Vanessa Williams, Wendy Raquel Robinson, and then Corbin Blue as Cap Calloway. These are just, this is what I would call a dream cast. All of them understanding the reverence needed to, uh, to really a lot to Mahalia Jackson and all of them giving their best performance to make sure that people don't forget it. Yes. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at a clip. Yes. Love it. Mahalia, you are the woman with the golden voice. So powerful. Oh my gosh. The the film is now on Hulu. How exciting. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. So exciting. So <laughs> exciting. Hulu has been so amazing and just so awesome. Um and just really understanding the story and the importance of the story and um it's just been a dream. Uh been a dream network, a dream streaming network for us and um all of the festivals around this world around the world have just just like I said, just embraced us and um, we wouldn't be here without all of them. Wonderful, where can we find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram at Erica Nicole Malone, uh, at Erica Nicole Malone or also at ericanicolemalone.com. Thank you so much for coming on Wake Up With Marcy. What a pleasure. Thank yes. You so Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. So